Commanders fans, like I said, I'm, I'm still under the weather, so my voice isn't 100%, but what an awesome day. It's a holiday, January 8th, Black Monday. Ron had a meeting with Josh Harris. Key card doesn't work anymore. He got the pink slip. I, I wouldn't have minded if they did it on his birthday yesterday, honestly. I wouldn't. It would, I would not have cared at all. I would have been happy as well. But and, and what I will say, Ron is a he's a character guy. He is. I think he's a leader of men. You know, he battled cancer his first year here, made the playoffs, had a lot on his plate. He never should have gotten the title as GM, basically, or a control. Didn't get the title GM, but it was a coach centric uh, uh, hiring where he made all the decisions. He hired Marty Herney and Martin Mayhew, which they're still going to be on the staff for the moment. But they will, um, they won't be here long, is what I'm hearing too. So, and a lot of people are panicking about that, but they won't be here long. Josh Harris hired um, Rick Spillman and um, Bob Myers from the Warriors, who was a part of so many championships with Steph Curry, Draymond, Clay Thompson, uh, Andrew Wiggins, Harrison Barnes, um, all those guys, Sean Livingston, all the guys on, on those championship teams, Kevin Durant, of course. Um, signing him, and they were just a dominant team. Even though I hated when Kevin Durant went to the Warriors, all that you know. So, but the thing about I'll, I'll talk about I'll talk about um, Bob Myers later. But we'll get back to Ron. We remember when Dan Snyder said Happy Thanksgiving. He was so excited that we we bought in Ron Rivera. He was so excited for that, and I was I was excited at the time too. But just the the whole way that it was done, giving him so much power, personnel, all the positional flex, bringing all the old commanders, bringing in the trainer getting busted by the DEA, bringing in terrible Scott Turner, who eventually got fired, uh, bringing in just all the old commanders like um, Trey Turner, Andrew Norwell, some of the worst offensive lines I've seen assembled in the in the, in the the history of football by Ron Rivera, just being, being a, a cheapskate in free agency, not making any big moves, ignoring the linebacker position, not knowing we could be eliminated uh, against the Browns, starting Carson Wentz over Taylor Heineke, um, signing William Jackson, drafting Forbes, Federian Mathis, so many, uh, you know, Jamin, I, don't, I don't dislike Jamin Davis, but just drafting a guy on military ties and status and stuff like that. <coughs> it's a dawn of a new day. It's a dawn of a new day, man, where this team can be aggressive. They're already being aggressive. Like Josh Harris is already setting up an interview with, with Ben Johnson from what I've heard from um, per Tom Pelissero and uh, Ian Rappaport and, uh, and beat reporters like that. So there's already been some interviews set up. So I love the aggressiveness. That's one thing that Ron was never doing. He was never aggressive with moves. Trading up for a long snapper in Cameron Cheeseman that got had to be let go and fired and released because he got Tressway injured basically by playing basketball with, with the uh, long snaps. <coughs> Excuse me, basically throwing uh, um, bounce passes for long snapping. Signing Chris Blewett, one of the worst kickers known to the game of football. Um, I mean, it's just so many things that Ron Rivera has done, you know, um, just too late with moves, Landon Collins, not putting him in the right position. Uh, William Jackson, that was a terrible signing. Like I said, I talked about that before. So just, just so many things that Ron did. And you can just tell the game is passing by challenges. Oh my gosh. His arms folded on the sideline. We're not going to have to see that anymore. The guys, 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 things getting mad at the media, getting mad at the radio and stuff, doing interviews and stuff, getting upset and stuff like that. So <clears throat> Ron Rivera, he's an old fossil. You know, I'm not going to just say that he was only good when Cam Newton was good, but it kind of seems that way. You know, um, his, his defense, Jack Del Rio and all, and all that. So, I mean, so many things to talk about Ron Rivera that he did wrong in the way he went about things. Signing Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, signing Carson Wentz, you know, all, all those things that he's done before that – were just just bad moves that you can look at it, that he definitely was the guy because yeah I remember he yelled at me he was like I'm the freaking guy I'm the freaking guy that watched the tape and decided to get Carson Wentz so he was the guy that said all that so today is a holiday for sure we can move on we don't have to, we don't have to weird, hurt hear the moves uh a positional flex anymore we know he loved that Buffalo nickel uh, linebacker position for sure um and then the unfortunate things with Chase Young Chase Young some of it's on him some of it's on Ron Rivera. But, you know, and then just hiring Eric Bieniemy, that was just a flop. I thought that was a good move, but that was that ended up being a flop. And Eric Bieniemy did Sam Howell no favors chopping him back so much. And Ron just talked too much. Like, in the media talking about, oh, players are concerned about Eric Bieniemy. Hopefully we get a coach that doesn't talk too much to the media and say too much stuff to the media, man, because 
Ron just talked too much. He would put himself in a hole and just saying that it takes four years to build a good team. I mean, look at the Houston Texans. What? It, it took them one year with their head coach to get to the playoffs. And Ron kept saying it takes years to build a team. It takes years to build a team all the time. And that was always his excuse. You know, and just the offensive line. He had Brandon Sheriff on the offensive line. He had Trent Williams at one time saying he, he wanted Trent to prove himself. We know there's a lot of layers with that, but he had a good offensive line. Never bringing back Eric Flowers. Just so many decisions they made with the offensive line that were just awful. You know, just awful and just terrible. Um, you look at this draft, guys are barely playing, except for Quan Martin. That's like the only good one. Barely plays Cole Turner. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. And I think this roster, I, I think, is a little bit better than what it was before he came. But honestly, it's not good at all. I don't see us keeping many players at all. Maybe Terry McLaurin. And that's really it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm so happy Ron is gone, man. The two-point conversions. Like, he never knew when to go for two. Like, that was one thing that frustrated me. Like, either he was too conservative or he was too aggressive. He just didn't know what to do. And then the whole challenge flag thing with the Eagles, two two years in a row where he was just too slow to throw the challenge flag. Clock management. He was awful with clock, man clock management. Just terrible. It's like he didn't know the game of football. When to call a timeout, when not to. When to go for two, when not to. When to kick a field goal, when to kick an extra point. He just didn't know. When to go for it on fourth down, he was just awful at it. Like, he had no feel for the game. Like, the, you could tell the game passed him by. The game passed him by. For sure. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's a holiday for me. Um, his record is actually worse. I think it's worse than what it was than um, than Dre, Jay Gruden, which is really disappointing. It's really disappointing. Letting let yeah, letting Kevin O'Connell walk. That was something too. That I hated from Ron Rivera. <coughs> Excuse me, but yeah, just hiring all those guys, Marty Herney, Martin Mayhew, all those guys that he was just best buddies with. So. Um, but yeah, this is from JP Finlay saying, talking about Rick Spillman and Bob Myers. He said, very important for Commanders fans to understand. Source, <coughs> excuse me, sorry guys. Source makes clear Bob Myers and Rick Spillman are advisors to Josh Harris. They are not the full time, new full time hires. So they just will be advisors in this process. They're not here for the long haul. They're just going to be here to help out and help, help, um, help, help Josh Harris make decisions. <clears throat> and they also requested interviews with Lions offense coordinator ben, Jen, ben Johnson and defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn for their head coaching jobs per sources. So that, that's good news there. I might make a separate video about Aaron Glenn because that's a that's a name that we haven't really talked about a lot. A lot of the sexy name is Ben Johnson for sure, but a lot of people haven't talked about that. And then also Schultz report says that they reached out to agent Don Yee about Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh. So that's another big sexy name right there. I don't want any retreads. I like Jim Harbaugh. I love his fire. I love his grit and all that tenacity. <coughs> Excuse me. Did a good job with Alex Smith with the Niners. Good job with Colin Kaepernick. But I, I, I just want somebody fresh and young and innovative. You know, I want a, I want our Sean McVay. I want our Mike McDaniel. I want our Matt LaFleur, all the guys that we had here. I want our Bobby Slowick that was here as a uh, offensive coordinator. So that's, that's what I want. I want a young, energetic, really offensive-minded coach. I wouldn't mind a defensive-minded coach like the guy from the Ravens, Mike McDonald. Other than that, that's the only defensive coordinator that I would, that if it were up to me, I would get a, a, give an interview to. Everybody else should be a young offensive minded head coach. And that's just the way football is going. It just, it is what it is. You look at the top teams in, 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 in the NFL right now, the Chiefs, Andy Reid, he's older, but still he's an offensive minded guy. Um, a lot of teams, like I said, Sean McVay with the Rams, Matt LaFleur with the Packers in the playoffs, all these teams. Uh, in the play, Bobby Slowick, offensive coordinator, but defensive minded head coach, but a good offensive coordinator. Texans in the playoffs. So you look at that. Ben Johnson, great offensive coordinator. Lions in the playoffs. So you look at all the playoff teams right now, and they all have a lot of a lot of really good offensive minds and a lot of good offensive brain power. And I want to see a guy. <coughs> it's all about getting a GM. We got to have forward thinking and be aggressive in free agent. We got to be aggressive in the draft too. We have the picks. We have the ammunition. Got to be aggressive. No more old just sitting back. I'm going to sign Andrew Wiley, bargain bin shopping. I'm going to sign Cody Barton, bargain bin shopping. I'm going to sign Wiley and uh, Trey Turner and Nick Gates and guys like that. So I, that's what I want to see. A dawn of a new day, a new era, man. New era. Happy Thanksgiving. That's the joke from Dan Snyder when we hired Ron Rivera. But thank goodness, guys. Thank goodness. I will go longer with my voice and all that. So I'm going to sign off, guys, because I'm coughing so much. Marge, guys, health commanders, today is a holiday. <coughs> Health of the Manners, Peace.